Yeah, all right, we'll do a gratuitous arm hair shave here. There you go, missing hair. Hi everybody, Tom Blodgett from Genda Industries, and today we're going to show you the Genda Diamond Films 1x6 using the jigs for knives, and we're gonna sharpen a ceramic knife with chips. So we're gonna use our 80 micron. It's 10 grits, 80 microns, 60, 45, 30, 15, 9, 6, 3, 1, and half micron. So it's actually a quite an extensive, uh, extensive range. Again, from about um, 180 grit all the way up to about 30K with a half micron. So it's actually a full range here. So we're going to mount these to our acrylic blanks and put the knife in the jigs and get ready to go. To put on the film, this is 80 micron here. There's your blank. Blanks are acrylic, so they're flat. Just make sure they're clean, free of dust. And the trick here is to put them on carefully. So what I like to do is grab these by the sides, just by the fingers here, make sure I'm gonna be lined up. And I take my fingers and I'm just gonna slide them down on the uh, corners here so that everything lines up on both sides. So you just wanna make sure everything's gonna be lined up first. Get the edge on one side. In this case, I'm doing it on my left. That should all go. Okay, walk it across. There might be a slight overlap. That's not a big deal. Okay, there it is. Uh, you can put them up, pull them up and put them back down again, but these do like to stick. So you really are best to do it in one shot. Okay, so you do this on all your grits and then you're ready to go. Uh, for mine, I've got them marked on the back, so that's how I'll know the difference here. So I want to get a good before shot here on the ceramic blade here. So you can see there's chips here, here, here. You know, it's otherwise kind of shiny, but it's dull and it's chipped out. So we're gonna re actually be able to repair those. We're not gonna use diamond plates, we're gonna use all the films. So you can see those little brat bites in there. Should be a little effort, but it'll be worth it. So now we're gonna clamp it up to the Genda Jigs for Knives and uh, start going through. All right, clamping the knife. Uh, there's some videos here I'll link. Uh, over here for you to show how to set up and clamp the jigs. So I'm just going to run through. I already got it preset here. And I'm just going to go straight on this blade because I'm not worried about all that. So all right, please. Um, can't be too thin. You can make them thinner uh, or, or not. Uh, there's a few things about ceramics I'm not really going to get into here, but they're, they're not the same as knives because there's no indicator for burrs. So you're just going to have to go along the way. And when you get there, you get there, it'll tell you. <laughs> so it's, it's, but that's another video. Uh, but first we're going to clamp it. I'm going to shoot for about 20 degrees. We'll see what that does here. So I've got my 80 micron. Okay, so uh, with the diamonds, I actually like to use water on my diamonds. You can run them dry, uh, but I find that they load up a little quicker. The diamond, the water helps lubricate everything off and just helps keep the diamond more aggressive over time. So uh, I'm going to go for that. So hold that. A couple spritzes here. Again, there's no need to put any ink on there or any sharpie tricks or anything there's just you, know, you just need to watch and see uh, a loop would be good or some microscope to check as your progress goes so here it's just other than now it's the same as knife sharpening we're just going to go start with some scrubbing and this first step is going to take a while even with the 80 grit this is about 180 I'm sorry 80 microns about 180 grit See how we're doing here so again I am not being nice to this film it's not ripping I'm going both directions scrubbing and I'm putting a little weight on there so yeah I'm automatically trying to feel for a burr there's no burr I uh, just got to look at the edge and see if you're getting there so our indicator here I can see a new line being formed uh, if I catch the light just right there's a new uh, facet here and I'm, I'm definitely hitting some of the the chipped areas here so uh, I feel like this is a good angle so uh, I know the camera won't pick it up. So I just gotta flip it over and just start working from both sides. Again, you can see some of the coloration coming off uh, of the, the, from the ceramic. So same thing on the other side. My chips are getting smaller. You know, again, this is just 80, 80 micron. 
This one's gonna take a while. What I'm doing here is I'm getting <laughs> kind of desperate in this case, because I know that it, the, the chips are very difficult to get out on ceramic knives. If you've ever done one with chips, it's just very, very hard material, despite the fact that the diamonds are cutting. Now I'm cutting because I'm getting like a milky color as I'm going here, so they're working. Uh, what I'm doing now is some drastic technique measures here. Uh, not for the faint of heart. Normally what we do is we scrub forward and backwards, right? Or we'll sweep in one direction or the other, right? You can crisscross that, and that's a more aggressive move. A lot of guys on sharpening stones will do circles though. So this here is something I would never really do. Uh, but in this case, 80 micron, we got nine more grits to go after this. So I'm coming around in circles right now. What this does is just crisscrosses all your scratches and just so you don't get caught in a rut. And you see, I'm getting that milky substance coming. Woohoo! Yeah, bump is gone. All right, so I'll check the timestamp. I'll put it here, tell you exactly how long that really was. I've been working the whole time. So uh, I'd say about 10, 12 minutes and that, is a tall order again for ceramic though. It's not a tall order for ceramic. I've got mechanized tools that can take just as long uh, to get it done. So it just really depends. So one by six real estate, banging that out and get those chips. Very, very um, amazing. So again, one piece of film doing this and still got some life in it. If you took it to a regular knife, still getting the milky stuff coming off, which means it's still cutting the ceramic. Well, maybe a little tired, still gonna cut. If you take this to a piece, uh, to a regular steel, even a uh, abrasion resistant, still gonna cut for a while. Okay, on to the next. Uh, so now we're gonna move on to the 60 micron. Now it becomes so much easier. So at this stage, there's no burr, but when I'm feeling with my finger, I can feel an edge, it's toothy. Uh, and you gotta come in really at 90 degrees. You, you're not gonna cut yourself going across, but I think uh, you can feel that there's a toothiness there. And what happens is this toothiness just becomes closer and closer until it becomes an actual like edge. So right now it's just really just too thick or too, uh, too toothy to be an edge. Uh, so it's too jagged. So what we're gonna do is refine it and you'll see about the 15 or nine micron is where things really come together and they start getting sharp. So uh, let me take a piece of paper here first just to see. I haven't done anything about trying to even out the bevels. This was just pure, you saw the work. Uh, so, <laughs> whoops, I guess uh, I spoke too soon. It's cutting. So that's 80 micron. I did not expect that to be honest. But you saw how like, it didn't really cut my hand. I mean, I'm going across and nothing. So, 11, 10 minutes, but yeah, it's, it's still, that sawtooth is there and it's a pretty clean cut. So, still rough, but it's there. We're gonna stick with 19.95. So now we know we're at the same place. Now we can go. Okay, so again, at 60, grit, 60 micron, that's gonna be quick. I mean, we could really skip a little bit here, but we're not going to. So before we saw that edge, I'm not gonna do a smaller pyramid of that. But you know, before it was cutting, I could feel the teeth are closer together. Again, I'm at 90 degree. It's starting to feel like it might cut if I press a little harder. It's still, it's slick. But as we know, it's cutting pretty good. You know, I'm not putting really any pressure into that. It's not quite push cutting. It's grabbing the bite. But as soon as I have some motion, it cuts. So we'll continue on with the next grit. Okay, 45 micron. And it, right now, again, 80, 60, 45. These are, these are big microns. These are, are very aggressive. Uh, grits. Big one's 20. 20. Four changes. Okay, 20 we go. So I get a little bit of water. I'll do a small pyramid on this. I'll come back to 20. Beginning to feel sharper. There's definitely a, a little bit of an edge to it. Like I said, 
it's not going to cut until you really cut across but until we get to this is only 45 microns so not until we get like the 15 or 9 is it really going to start cutting the skin directly i mean it would probably cut if i pushed but and now we're getting a little bit more so cut nice and straight Okay, I just did progression of uh, 35, 25, 10, and 5. Uh, let's just check that edge again. How does it feel? Now we're starting to feel, this is starting to feel a little sharp. Like to the point where I can still slide across. I feel confident it's not going to cut me, but I'm almost worried. So again, this is 30 microns. So uh, it'll probably, if you push hard enough, it'll definitely cut. So 30 micron is what, 500 grit. So we've only progressed to 500 grit and we're already getting... You know, really nice cuts so nothing holding up so that ships are gone moving on to the next 15 is next and that's going to be where something starts to happen Just did a pyramid there of like 35, 25 ish, 15, 10, 5. And yeah, it's starting to feel like a little toothy edge here. So this would be like a coarse edge on a regular knife. And again, that's the tricky thing about ceramics. Is that no burr indicator or anything? It just, you know, you're gonna get cut. And you see it's starting to smooth it out. Uh, I could feel the difference in the cut. Before it was a little rougher, now it's actually starting to get a little bit smooth. Uh, yeah, that wasn't smooth, but getting a nice smoother cut. And again, this is still only 30, uh, was it 15 or 30 micron? 15, so it's only 15 micron. Uh, now, now we're gonna start seeing some changes here. Uh, and also I'm gonna change up the technique a little bit because uh, I'm gonna do more one and ones rather than just five five and leave it. Uh, I'm gonna get more one and one. So we'll do that now. Definitely sharp. I can still run my finger, but I feel like it's starting to cut. Yeah, it's ca it's catching my skin. Yeah, it's leaving a line. It's not cutting yet, but it's getting close. So again, the cut test will show that it's getting a feel that we're getting smoother and smoother still. So it's just really easy to cut now. This is more than enough for cutting in a kitchen uh, at this point. Nine micron is definitely where the sort of threshold is. Um, after this, you start getting into, you know, six and three are really nice. Six is good. Uh, three is better, but then you start getting a weaker edge because it is so brittle and you are coming closer and closer to zero that you risk it chipping out again. So this is a point where at nine micron, you're in the safe zone, uh, six micron, you're there and three and higher. Well, that's up to you for ceramics. Uh, again, that's a whole different ball game, different techniques or whatever, but we're just going to run them through. So from now on. I'm just going to, you know, speed up the camera and we'll go through.
the three micron edge, if I move my finger, it's, it's starting to cut my finger. So it's definitely cutting into the skin uh, at this point. So we should have a decent slicing edge at this point. Uh, yeah, see it's, it's almost really just push cutting at this point. Really wanting to so you know that three micron really sends these ceramics over the top and it's shiny. Again, it's really deceiving how sharp it actually is versus what you feel. All I feel is like a point. I don't feel like if this were a knife, it would like be cutting my skin. Ceramics just don't do that, but it will cut you. So, you know, be careful here. This is push cutting. So, it's sharp. If I had any hair, I'd do a little test. It'll will, so let me take it out and we'll do uh, and here see the edge. You see that shine now. Ooh mama. It's definitely shining. And in terms of cutting, it's shaving hair. They're popping off. So, yeah, all right, we'll do a gratuitous arm hair shave here. There you go. Missing hair. <laughs> it's actually all right here. So, yeah, sharp. Who says ceramics can't shave? All right, thank you for watching. I'll put some more videos over here and over here. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to buy the Gender Jigs for Knives at GenderIndustries.com or GenderIndustries.com.au. Thank you.